By the end of this video, you will be able to add cross stave beaming to the notes that you're working on in MuseScore Studio. Let's get started. So I'm working in MuseScore Studio 4.5, and I'd like to add cross stave beaming. Again, what that means is right now you can see that the note beam is in the treble clef only. What I'd like to do is have the notes be connected to the bass clef here. So in order to do that, what I need to do is uh, let's uh, go ahead and work with this C here. So I want to left click on C, make sure I'm in selector mode. And so the C is selected. And in order to make that go to the bass clef, you notice if I try to drag it, it will not add it to the bass clef. So what I need to do is actually on my keyboard with the note selected, click on control, shift, and then the down arrow. So when I click on that, so control, shift, and up or down, will change where that note is placed on each stave. So now it's in the bass clef, and I can now change that in the bass clef. So let's say I wanted to add this note to the bass clef. Again, I'm just going to select the note, and then hold Control, Shift, and the down arrow. So now it's in the bass clef. And this will work with chords as well as multiple notes. So let's say I want the second note to go to the right hand or the treble clef. So I can do control shift up arrow. So now those notes are in the treble clef and then the same thing with, with this chord as well. So now you can see I can make some really nice cross stave beaming. And if you want to change any of the beaming properties, for instance, if you want to break the beam in any place. So let's say I wanted to break the beam between these two notes. I'm going to select that third note there. And then I'm going to go to properties. And then under note, you might want to drop that down. Left click on beam. And then I can change where I would like this beam broke. So I want to break the beam to the left. So I would click on that one. That's the one I wanted. You could also do a no beam here. And that would just separate it from all of the notes. But let's say I wanted it to look something like that. Uh, that looks good to me. So uh, again, you can change that. You could also uh, join the beams by doing that. And then you can change the beam placement too. So let's say I want the notes to be in the bottom, but I want the beam to be on the top like that. You can change the beam selection. So again, uh, when I have that cross staff beaming, I can go ahead and change uh, where that's placed as well. I could force horizontal. Again, that made the beam exactly straight in the horizontal. If you made it this far into the video, you might also be interested in how to change the global settings when it comes to beams within MuseScore Studio. I made another video that covers this in detail. I'll put a link to that video here.